day of prayer and fasting service. Now you can get in, jump in, maybe you just is your first program you even seen or even heard. And um, this is a fast that God has chosen to loose the bonds of wickedness, that the oppressed go free and to break every yoke. And he did that through Jesus Christ. So when you receive Jesus, there you go. So well, why in the world are we praying and fasting then? Because there's people that haven't received Jesus. So we're releasing our faith and uh, even through prayer and fasting that they will receive Jesus and that the loosen of the bonds of wickedness, that the oppressed go free and break every yoke through Jesus. Amen and amen. So we're going to jump right into the Word of God today. Uh, it don't mean you go on a total fast. You can drink fluids. You can eat breakfast. You can eat lunch. You can eat dinner. No snacks or or you can eat snacks and don't eat those three meals or just eat one meal or no meal or every other day fast. However the Lord leads you to do it, feel free to. Why do we pray the way we pray? 1 Timothy chapter 2, verse 1 through 2. First of all, we pray for all the people in authority that we live a quiet and peaceable life. Matthew 6, 33, Seek ye first the kingdom of God, and all these things are added unto us. Psalms 118, verse 17, Everybody in my family and the people in authority, they live and not die and declare the works of the Lord. President Trump and his cabinet and his family is Psalms 118, verse 25. We're now prosperous, now healed, now set free, now delivered from worldly passions. And the Trump family is Psalms 91. We walk in divine health, wealth, and prosperity. We are the healed, saved, set free, and delivered. And we walk in divine protection. Romans 8:11. The people in authority, the Trump administration, and President Trump is quickened in their mortal body. 2 Timothy 1:7. God hadn't given Trump or his administration the spirit of fear, power, love, and a sound mind. Ephesians 1, 16 and 17, that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ gives unto us the spirit of wisdom and revelation, knowledge of Jesus, that the eyes of our understanding are enlightened. We know what the hope of our calling is, and the exceedingly great power that works on the inside of us. Isaiah 54, 17, no weapon formed against the Trump administration will prosper. Every tongue that rises up against will not prosper. No weapon formed against him will prosper. And every time and every tongue that rises up in, in to condemn, 1 Peter 2.24, by stripes were healed. Isaiah 53.5, by stripes were healed. Psalms 51.12, the joy of our salvation. Thank you, Lord. We are restored to the joy of our salvation, and we have a free spirit. John 14, 26, But the Comforter, which is the Holy Spirit, is here, has come. He teaches us and leads us, guides us into every area of life. Matthew 8, 17, and John 14, 26, and we having Ephesians 3, 20, more than you can think, dream, or imagine. Matthew 8, 17, Sin, sickness, and disease is a thing of the past. And it's gone, 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 now, now, now. It's been removed from us. Sin, sickness, and disease is removed from us. Luke 10, 2. We send labors through the Trump administration, godly people. We don't wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, powers, rulers of darkness. And we bind and gag them in Jesus' name. Luke 10, 2. Release labors through the Trump family, friends, neighbors, acquaintances, people that love us, people that hate us, people that bless us, people that even try to curse us, but every seat's filled, every person's filled, a unity of faith church. A real church for real people with real answers that have real faith. We have now Deuteronomy 8.18, the power of wealth. I have trillions and trillions and trillions of dollars to get the gospel out in a greater way. First Peter 4, 7, and the world's coming soon. So we are disciplined in our prayer life. Glory. Glory. And Isaiah 55.5. God has sent to us nation and nations of people, and they obey. 
You have a good one and a special time.